Okay, here we are. We're on question two. Uh, use integration to find the exact value of this. So, this is the expression we're looking at. We know, don't we, that we can't just go around integrating cos squared and sine squared. They are, in our list of, of types of integrals, they are the trig identity ones. So, we need to think about 6 cos squared 4x first. Is it, is it okay lined up? Good. Um, so, let's work our way through that. We know that cos squared, well, hang on, remember how we get to this. We know that cos of 2a is cos squared a minus sine squared a. That's one of the identities that we've learnt. That also allows us to say, if we get it just in terms of uh, cos squared, sine squared is 1 minus cos squared, so that's cos squared 1 minus cos squared, so that would be 2 cos squared a minus 1. If we rearrange that, we can say that cos squared a is half of 1 plus cos 2a. That's, it, you, you maybe quoted that straight away, you went straight away with that identity, but that's the identity, isn't it? So now we need to think, how can we use that? Well, we're supposed to be dealing with cos squared 4x. So we're replacing a with 4x. That becomes a half 1 plus cos 8x, because twice 4x gives us 8x. We put it times 6 as well. So as we come to do our integral, we now know that our integral is the integral from pi by 16 to pi by 8. So there's a clue there that, that 8x is okay, because that makes both of those two values fairly sensible things to be inputting. 9, take away 6 times a half 1 plus cos 8x, so that's 3 times 1 plus cos 8x dx. <coughs> now that, I, I would actually do that amount of working out to get you to that point. Because there's no point in doing that, that replacement and getting rid of cos squared x with something that you're not certain that it's the right thing. So take the time to write out the steps, make sure it's really clear what you've done. Um, I, I then saw a few people get a little bit confused about the signs in this. So 9 minus 3, that gives us 6. And then we've got 9, oh, we've got minus 3 times cos 8x. And so there's a little bit of losing some of the, the detail as you went into that step. So now we're ready to integrate it. Integrate 6, and we get 6x. Integrate cos ax, and we get 1 over a sine ax. So we get to that point. Sub in some values. So we've got uh, 6 pi over 8. That's 3 pi over 4. Take away 3 eighths of sine pi. And then we've got 6 pi over 60. I should have changed that. But anyway, take away 3 eighths of sine pi by 2, because that's 8 pi over 16. Uh, what we ended up with, that's 3 quarters. Uh, take away 3 eighths of pi, so that's 6 eighths, take away 3 eighths, so that's 3 eighths of pi. Sine of pi is 0, sine of pi by 2 is 1, so that is plus 3 over 8, because it's minus, minus 3 eighths times 1. And that's the answer, isn't it? And uh, I, it didn't, I didn't ask for it factorised. No, I just said find the exact value. So there we go. Math.